Formerly ranked number one in the world as a junior, TJ Lanning is a promising addition to the U.S. ski team. But a series of individual injuries, including a torn ACL and meniscus, an injured ankle, and two ruptured discs in his back, has kept him off his skis for considerable lengths of time. Nevertheless, for Lanning, the risks are outweighed by the desire to be among the world's greats. I risk so much because, you know, it's a lot of fun and the payoff may not seem logical now, but hopefully in the future it will be. Counting on modern medicine to make me feel better when I'm 40. Finally healthy after years of rehab and numerous setbacks, Lanning was in a position to make a serious comeback at the 2006 Birds of Prey downhill in Beaver Creek, Colorado. But things didn't quite go as planned. It all started from the uh, talent turn. I made a little mistake there, and so I was just hammering, just pinning and trying to hold the bull wherever I could, and not making it as big a moves off of like Golden Eagle. So I was going big and just going faster and faster. And then just coming into that last turn off Red Tail, I just tried to hold my tuck to that and totally just mindlessly forgot about the compression, the false compression that you don't really see. And I just kind of got jacked and squashed in there, and I was just fighting. You know, my legs were tired, and I was fighting to get back over my boards because I didn't want to go off the jump, you know, laying on my skis because, you know, then you're just laying on your head and spike yourself on the ground. But And then something funky happened on my left ski hooked up, and I just shot, like, exit stage right. As soon as I went up, I was just like, oh, God, this is not going to end up good. And then you know, I just remember just ragdolling through the fence, like hit my face, hit my head, hit my back. And then I was just like laying on the snow. I mean, I was, I think I was conscious the whole time. But then, you know, it just all happened so fast. But I'm in the middle of the downhill track again, and you know, my face was just kind of felt like my face was shattered just because it was numb from all the scraping along the fence. And, my goggles were hanging over my face and I couldn't really feel anything, so I thought my goggle frame was my nose. Kind of got feeling back in my face a little bit, and then I started getting feeling back in my hands, and I was like, oh, my hand, I had a spiral fracture from my knuckle to my wrist and my third metal carpal, and I could feel it moving up and down in my glove. TJ's crash was was sick. You know, you wonder, you know, should the guys watch the crashes? Did you talk about the crashes? And Darren was always a great, he loved watching the crashes. And you're like, dude, you gotta go up there tomorrow. I mean, what are you, <laughs> is that gonna psych you out? He's like, hell no, man, that was a damn good crash. But that's the type of guy that actually excels in downhill.